Hey, welcome to Say Nado. Let's go up to the barn garage and see what Victor's into today. Say Nado produces DIY auto repair videos and tool reviews. Hosted by retired ASC certified master mechanic Victor Sane. And he's a cutie pie too. A dozen videos on all the tasks that need to be done in order to recondition one of these battery packs and the tools we use to do it. Then in the last video, I was able to install the completed and reconditioned battery pack back into the Toyota Prius Hybrid. Now in this video, we'll get to use the Dr. Prius app and test drives to show if reconditioning the battery actually works. I'm going to show results before, immediately after, and 2,000 miles after the completed work. These with, that aren't as tall are actually the ones that are stronger. And these that are really tall are actually the ones that are weaker. So what I'm hoping to happen is that as I drive, that this evens out. Let's see if I turn it sideways, will it be easier to see? Yes, that's easier to, that's easier to see right there. And it's easier to tell that we did achieve somewhat of an inverted curve okay so first test drive and this is what it looks like now after making the first test drive oh come on focus there we go there's some focus and I'll battery reconditioning going well I'm gonna have some data for you here from Dr. Prius first of all let's look at our mileage and what's going on there so far, we're averaging 46.2 miles per gallon, and I've got 2,302 2, miles on the trip meter. Let's see here. And that's averaging 44 miles per hour in mixed driving, both freeway and round town. Let's see what the mileage is on the car after the battery, we're at 398,670 miles. And of course, if we look at the trip meter, you know, I haven't reset the trip meter since I did all the work. So that 2,302 should be an accurate representation of how many miles we put on the hybrid battery. Again, 46.2 miles per gallon is our average mileage so far. And let's see what the Dr. Prius app has to say about it. Okay, so I'm trying to connect to the device now, and bam, there we go. Okay, so it's not perfectly flat, but it is flattening out. I think a lot of people um, underestimate the charging system on these Toyotas. Because if you remember, we had a like a big mountain in the center where everything in the center was really high because everything in the center was really weak. Then I did the battery reconditioning, and because of where I placed the modules in order to even out or balance out the reconditioned battery pack, I was looking for an inverted curve, which we got. We had an inverted curve when I first put it together, and now we've got much more of a flattened out. And of course, the ones that are the lowest here, you'll see there's there's a few there toward the outside that are the lowest. Those would be the strongest ones. And then everything else is really close to the same. 
So we're getting a much more even pattern than we ever had before. And indeed, you know, we've got better, better results too, because if you look at the right here, the battery charge indicator on the car, that thing used to move up and down a lot under just about all conditions. And now opposite of that, just about all conditions, it stays pretty much the same where it is right now. There's just like two or three bars at the top that are almost always missing. And then you've got a whole bunch of bars there. It just stays that way under almost all conditions. It hardly ever moves, which is an indicator of a strong high voltage battery. One other thing that should be mentioned after this battery reconditioning is that the car does feel stronger. I mean, it feels like the car has more power, especially at low throttle. It's very little throttle. The throttle response is better. So I think it's a win. I'm going to call it a win. I think reconditioning the hybrid batteries is very much a plausible thing to do. You can get good results. Uh, I will keep you updated another few thousand miles on it and show you results then so that you can kind of get an idea if you just keep following this channel St. Auto and kind of get an idea of uh, what battery conditioning does and we'll just run this thing until we end up upgrading to the lithium-ion batteries. I might even do some experimentation with rehydrating some cells. What do you think Smokey Cat? Think we should rehydrate some cells? I don't think she's interested. What do you guys think? Uh-oh. No. Lots more shenanigans like this in our hybrid repair playlist. Lots more stuff about the T180 in the hybrid repair playlist as well. Hey, if you like this video, we've got a whole lot more. We've got tool reviews. We've got repair videos. We've got show car videos, hot rods, mod rods, you name it. If it's got wheels on it and an engine, it's probably on this channel. So subscribe, like. What do you think, Smoky Cat? You just don't care, do you? It's not interested in car repairs at all, Art.